Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm happy to be back in the shaved in with all of you. Um, thank you for watching. Tonight's shave is going to be Black Bot by Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. A very classic musky old school scent. I love it very much. I am in fact deeply in love with this scent. Um, yeah, it's the Formula CK6. I can try to show you the ingredients if you want. If it'll let me. It is made with six different butters, very exotic butters, in fact. I think three of them are. But yeah, um, I don't know if you can see that. But I have it blooming, and I have it, I have it blooming for scent, not for performance. Um, because CK6 does not need blooming for performance. It, that I'm simply soaking. I'm not. Well, I'm not soaking. I'm blooming. See, soaking is for performance. Blooming is for scent, like a flower. So do not mix those two together, guys. Um, I'm trying to clear that up as much as possible. I'm trying to help Douglas. So, again, razor of choice tonight is going to be the Gillette Red Tip Super Speed 1957. It is the C2. Excellent shape. It got retouched by the previous owner. I really thank you for that. I don't know if you'll ever see my video. But, yeah, I'm trying to... And if you've noticed the camera is in a different angle, it's because my mount broke and I have a, um, a gooseneck hanging up from my cabinet here. So um, I hope you all like that and the camera's right there. So I'm trying to get used to that. So yeah, Gillette Red Tip. The Heavy, by the way, is what they called it out of the three they um, sold. There was the Blue Tip, the original Super Speed, and the Red Tip. Because the, the Blue was the light for a very light beards. The original Super Speed was the medium, which was for, you know, regular hair. And for coarse hair like me, the red tip suits very well. So, um, and the blade I use on that razor is going to be the Kai blade. It is under the sharpness of a feather blade. So I'm going to be using that. Brush of choice is going to be my little brother, what do we call it, little brother. Sterling 20 millimeter, very nice Plasoff style knot. I imagine is what it's called. It looks like a Plasoff style, so I'll be using that synthetic brush. So, let's get this shave underway, guys. Um, just a moment, let me kind of wet the face and I'll get this party started. All right, I'm so glad to be back to making more videos. Um, again, I've been into doing lives in the rich man shaving group and I've just I've just been enjoying all the interaction with everybody it's just been nice to have I'm gonna do a uh, I'm gonna put the the water I used to bloom the soap kind of in the goatee region as well oh, I just love this it's a very 60s musk an epic 60s musk, if you might say. And the scent notes are bergamot, lavender, labdamum, oak moss, cedar, tonka bean, and musk. And again, if you know what the, um, the know the vintage black belt aftershave and cologne, which was made by um, the same creators of the high karate scent. Okay, it's probably enough pre-lather. I don't want to call it a pre-shave because all you're doing with this um, lather is building on top of lather. So you're not really creating another layer of pre-shave when you use a lather as a pre-shave. Just another clarification because pre-shave is a whole different animal. And I'm going to get the rest of this water out of this tub. I have not lathered with a brush once. CK6 formula is beautiful as can be. Just wanted to give you all a good look at the CK6 soap. Brand new. Just as it was poured. And the CK6 formula from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements is very good for the skin. Leaves it soft and smooth all day. All right, let's get this brush in the soap. Let me kind of warm it up under some water. I'm feeling some tingle kind of up here. I think I have sort of what you call a reaction to certain things. All right. This is a 20 millimeter, so it makes it very nice to um, tub load. 
and I'm really into this angle of the camera right now. So, okay, that's going to be more than enough. Generally, they say three to four swirls is pretty good. All right, I'm really digging this camera angle. Man. But I hope everyone's had a great day, had a great week. And if you're watching this video days and months from now, it's not going to matter from this day and on. But still, I hope everyone does great and has a great day beyond today. So, oh man, CK6, CK Epic, CK Endless Lather, <laughs> CK Bottomless Pit. As they might say, because it's gonna keep, it's gonna keep making ladder, even if you have a little CK6, very little on your face. It is going to keep building and building and building, because it takes water like a monster. It just keeps taking water constantly. So, if you're a beginner, CK6 is a winner. So, all right. I got way more than I'm going to need the whole shave. My shirt is going to smell good all night. So let me rinse that off my hands. All right. Really should not have wore a collar shirt, but wanted something nice for the video. For my, what you call a comeback. Don't call it a comeback. I've been here for years. <laughs> or however that song goes. Okay. Having a good time filming this video for all of you. I am just since I've been in the live um, scene, it's been helping me gain some um, experience on camera and speaking. So let's load this razor. I am seven minutes in the video. Okay, I'd really oh like God. to have a set time I make these videos at. So um, let's see. I'm just doing a two pass shave. So, just letting you know ahead of time. I hope this angle is working pretty good. Oh, I'm gonna drop my blade. Let me put it back in real quick. Okay, I'm gonna show you my loading process. As some of you all like the loading. So I'm gonna put that right there. And these old Gillettes have a hook right there, so it helps you load your blade, because the old spoilers. And the Kai Blade has no markings at all, whatsoever. It is completely barren of any kind of advertising. So, hope you all saw that. I'm pretty sure you did. Warm the razor up. All right. Go for the first pass. I'll we'll make sure it's tight and good. Always make sure your twist to open razors are tight enough, but not too tight. But do not let them become loose during a shave. I'll tell you, it's very smooth. It's taken the whiskers down. It's only one day's worth of growth. Oh, that scent is just beyond worlds right now. Mm. It's like a time machine. I've never to a place I've never been or should I say a time I'm getting invited to watch a live on Rich Man Group which is where I usually do my lives <laughs> and sorry Thor I can't watch your live right now but I will catch your replay alright hope you can see me fine Hope you can hear that feedback. And it's got a good razor gap. I mean, it's it's a very medium shaver. I forgot to set my auto focus in place, but I hope it's not a problem. And I've got to remember to line up this goatee of mine. Mowing down pretty good. CK6. 
has a very stable lather as well. Let's see if I can remember the butters. See, there's Muru 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 butter, Kapa, Kapakwa butter, and there's a third one. Let's see if I can do this so I don't have to do a second pass and risk misaligning the goatee. Yeah, I, can, I know there's, yeah, the Muru Muru butter and the Kapwaku butter are two of the exotic butters they added to the CK6. There is a third butter I cannot remember. Shoot. Actually, it's on my tub, so I can look at it. In just a moment. Okay. Okay. Oh, and I do have a new type of razor on its way in the mail. And I do fix that. I do plan on doing a, doing an unboxing of that razor either in the group or on YouTube. Still trying to debate what I want to do where. Depends on my time and and what not what so okay. Finish off the first pass. Alright. It's all good. Let's apply the lather one more time in just a second. Let me rinse this up real okay. quick. Just a little bit. See, when you're smearing that, when you're trying to smear it off, it's just going to create another layer of somewhere else, see? <clears throat> you just can't wipe it off easily. It just keeps creating and creating, and you just can't stop it. It's a monster. The black bot is a monster. See, look at that. I created a whole other lather, even with my hands, without a brush. But what's the fun in white shaving without a brush, right, fellas? All right, I have it sitting on my tub here, and let's do another. I'm just going to brush it on like this, because really the process of swirling is meant to help exfoliate the hair that you have on your face that you need to mow down, but it doesn't mean you can't do it, but for you guys, I don't want you to have to watch me over lather if you don't need to, so especially for those that want to just <clears throat> watch my video and um, and get on with your lives or whatnot. If you uh, have a busy day or anything like that. I encourage you all to watch my videos more if you have more time. But if you have things to do, then do that first if you can. But enjoy your time, especially with shaving. So shaving is a zen. Well, let's get the second pass going here. It's also got a very good slickness. Did a good job with the water ratio this time. But you cannot over lather CK6 or over hydrate. You cannot over hydrate. It's very difficult to do. Let's see. Where's that, where's that ingredient list at? I, sh I told you two of those butters. Oh, Bakuri butter. A bakuri seed butter. So there's all three of those butters. If you don't remember what I said before, just <clears throat> either rewind or look up on phoenixshaving.com or however you want to. Okay. The longer this thing gets, the easier it is to line up. And by that, it's like, what I'll do is with, when I have a goatee, I'll, I'll, I'll go to the line like this. And when it stops, that's where I'll stop the razor. So that tells me I'm lining my uh, goatee up pretty straight. So, but yeah, CK6 lather is a very durable, very stable lather. Especially if you have to take your time shaving, say with a straight razor. 
Huh. Well, it should be easier to cut with or shouldn't be having any trouble. Maybe I should have added more water because it's, I'm trying to let the razor do the work, but it wouldn't go through that soap. It doesn't happen all the time either so don't don't quote me on it being hard to shave off or anything I'm not trying to say anything negative but all right sideburns like to leave remains of hair okay let me rinse off it's a very smooth shave it's not BBS but what's the point of BBS huh I mean Especially if you're shaving at night before bed. <clears throat> it's just going to grow back. See. It's just going to try to build again. Of course, I grabbed some for my beard, but... Any little piece of CK6. <clears throat> just reproduces rapidly. It's hard to wash off. Man, just bear with me, gentlemen. Mm. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my towel. If I have any soap residue on me, oh well. Okay. Let's hit the good stuff, shall we? Want to know what time it is? It's smell good time, gentlemen. Time to go. Time to use the smell good stuff that we have here. The Black Bot CK or the Black Bot aftershave. CK6 aftershave. How would that work? All right. Time to do the smell good. All right. I'm probably putting on too much right now, but mm. Ooh, buddy. That's <coughs> that's got a that's always got a tingle and a really good burn. But boy is it good. Mm. I actually meant to put on a little less this evening because it's late. I'm not going anywhere. So it's like no reason to smell that good. But with Black Bot, you can smell good anywhere you go. Whether at home or at work or on the go. Just anywhere. Mm. Okay, that's the splash. Some got in my lid, so I'll put that on my neck. That has an amazing scent. The ingredients in the aftershave are alcohol. Labdomum, hydrosol, essential oil, fragrance oil, hedion, or hedion, or what you might call it, aloe, glycerin, and carrot seed extract. So it's a very skin foody type aftershave. Very good for your skin and very good for healing and cleaning. So, all right, that's the aftershave. So now, final ingredient, Black Bot. The ultimate smell good experience. And this menthol is going to really add to the tingle, the cooling tingle that I need to finish the shave off. Oh. See, it's a jelly, it's a jelly-like texture. It's not a lotion. It quickly absorbs into the skin. So, 
Dab it on. You know, the star jellies are excellent. I've become a huge fan of them since I got them. So. All right. When I get off cam, I'm going to clean my equipment. So uh, I'm going to let y'all go and whew, let y'all um, go about your business and but I do appreciate y'all watching. I appreciate all my subscribers, all my viewers. Any comments you leave, um, I'm just thrilled with this channel. I'm sorry I kind of took time off, I'm making you wonder where I'm at. But rubbing on the arms. But um, I have I haven't gone anywhere. I just took a break, doing lives and interacting with people during I'm um, shaving. And plus, you know, I was trying to not take so much time doing videos and editing during the day. So I'm going to try to get back into the swing of things. So gentlemen, y'all have a great day. Y'all take care. And please remember to be kind to one another because life is far too short. I'll see ya.